Welcome guys to Techonix. My name is Gaurav and today in this video we are going to work with this sensor and upload the sensor data to ThinkSpeak network using this GSM module. So let's get started. So in today's video, we are going to work with BMP20 sensor and DTH11 sensor and we will going to upload the data of this sensor to ThinkSpeak network using the GSM module. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to set up a channel on ThinkSpeak website to get our data on it. So let's get started. First of all, go to ThinkSpeak network and then go to my channels. As you can see here, I already created a channel for this project. So let me show you how you can create your channel. First, go to my channels. So right here, type the name of your channel, whatever you want. And here you can type the description of your channel and then here you can select how many fields you need for your project. Like here we are getting four sensor outputs, uh, temperature, humidity, uh, BM280 temperature and atmos atmosphere pressure. So we have to select four of this. Now name these fields like the number one is temperature, number two is humidity and then it's going to be temperature 2 uh, like temperature of bm uh, 280 and then this is going to be atmosphere pressure that's all show the status and click on save and here you have a channel for our code we need a write api key from here api key section You will get this write API key which we are going to use in our code to write the data on this channel. As you can you can also get this code line of code from here which you have to add on the Arduino code. And these are some other settings like channel settings. From here you can edit your feeds etc. And you can clean your data or delete your channel. So that's all in this uh, things speak part now jump to the coding part here is a code for our project right here I define some of the libraries for the sensor like BM280 sensor library and DTS sensor library here here I define the pin of DTS sensor and here I define and for BMP82 sensor this sensor using I2C pins of your controller whether you are using ESP32 or Arduino you can connect this sensor to your I2C pins. Here we are storing the sensor value to H and T and in this part it is printing onto the serial monitor and here the BMP sensor and in this part we are storing the data of BMP280 sensor to I and J character and then displaying it to the serial monitor and from and from here these parts start for the GSM module like here we have to set a APN 
for our sim provider like I'm using VI sim so I'm using here WW and if you are using some other sim like Atel then you can use their APN like for Atel this is this like for Atel we can use Atel GPS.com and it's totally depend on what sim, uh, sim you are using you can search for it on Google you can easily find it and from this part we are requesting it to connect to the ThingSpeak website and here is the part where we have to paste our API key of Things Network channel which you can get from here just go to your channel and then API keys and you can copy this from here or you can get this code of line from here just copy it and paste it here then we have to define the fields which we are using like in our case we are using four fields so I have to define the fields one two three and four here and then I have like uh, the temperature and humidity I am storing into T and H and the temperature and atmosphere pressure of BMP I am storing into I and J so I have to declare that character here and that's all in this code so let's upload this into our circuit let's upload this code to the ESP first connect the ESP now select the board in our case we are using ESP module so I'm going to select and then select the port in, in my case this is COM5 and we have to press upload now press the boot button on the ESP and done the code is uploaded on the ESP open the serial monitor and press the reset button on the ESP and here we can see the values of BMP and that here we can see the values of DTH and the BMP sensor values here the SIM module start connecting to the network connecting to the APN now it's going to send a data and here it send a data to the channel and it get a feedback from the channel send ok so just jump to the channel and here you can see we get a data temperature time and date humidity level BMP temperature and the atmosphere pressure atmosphere pressure so as you can see now it is going to upload the data again on on ThingSpeak network after every 50 seconds the data will be updated if you want more real time data on it then you have to upgrade your plan like here it send the data and yeah here we get it like the temperature increase as you can see humidity levels also increase in the room on BMP it show the same and atmosphere pressures also increase you can change the pattern of your graph as you wish So as you can see in this video, we easily get the data of these two sensors and we are able to upload that sensor data to ThingSpeak network using this uh, GSM module right here. So hope you guys like this video. If you want more videos like this, then do subscribe to Kionics and hit that like button. See you next one.